Retro Tech 100. Hello, welcome to Retro Tech 100. Here's something I've not done for a very long time. I'm having a look at a new RetroPie image. This is the DZ Neon Playbox image. It's 32 gigs in size. You can download it off a torrent on arcadepungs.com. It's about 21 gigs. Expands to about 28. It'll probably fit on a 32 if you've got a decent one. Or to make sure, stick it on a 64 gig. What attracted me to this build was it has lots of 8 and 16 bit computers. So what we have is a full set of Amiga, a full set of Amiga CD32, Amstrad, Atari 800, Atari ST, Commodore 64, Commodore 64 cartridge, has a jukebox on it, has a MSX 1 and 2, a play box which is like a multimedia player, it's got ports of Doom and uh, other such things like Cave Story, it's got a full desktop mode. One I'm excited to play is the Sharp X68000, it's a full set of Spectrum, background to all games. Games with a neon feel. So, I'll read what it says on the RK Punks website about this. This is DZ is dropping the craziest Pi 3B B Plus image to date. Neon is a 32 gig multimedia cinematic cyberpunk themed image, which brings you a fully loaded retro system, multimedia player, music player, and a complete desktop mode. All this is possible thanks to the incredible Playbox Space custom retro player, fully automated by 2Play. It's got great sound, it's got great visuals, so let's check it out and see how it runs. So I'm running it on an arcade stick, i probably best to have a keyboard with this, but I don't at present, so we'll just see how we do with this. As you can see, it's running Project X very well. There's no slowdown, I've played this game a lot on the original Amiga, and uh, I can tell you for a fact that this is running at full speed. You can see you've got um, video snaps in the Amiga menu. It's pretty basic, but it gets the job done. Is Turrican 2 running very well? I never had a lot of luck running Amiga on Retrofire. I uh, never seemed to configure it properly, so it's great that it's all there. And I can delve into some of the games I've never been able to run. Here's the Amstrad offering. It's all ready to go with the uh, joystick pre configured, so there's no faffing about with a keyboard on the Amstrad. One of my favourite games to play is Switchblade. So we'll have a go at that. You can see, got a nice border, and um, has with some of these machines. I don't know if you could change it out for a different one. But it certainly works very well, and you won't want your Amstrad image stretched anyway.
let's try a Commodore 64 game next. It's nice to see it's got the uh, cartridge version and uh, the regular version, so basically the Commodore 64 GS. Um, what should we play? Maybe Commando? Yeah, definitely Commando. The mainstay of the Commodore 64. I find Commodo pretty hard and I'm pretty rubbish at it, but uh, it's quite an addictive game, so we'll give it a bash. Like I say, it's already sorted for your joystick controls once you uh, configure them at the start for uh, RetroPie and just seems to work straight away with no problems. No, Not much lag I can see in this, uh, this image at all. And everything seems to work straightforward. I would say, I'm rubbish at Commando. These balls hard though, to be fair. Now it's time to test the MSX. It does have a lot of uh, lazy Spectrum ports, but it does have some original games. I don't know much about the MSX, but what I have played I do enjoy. It's a very fine and good looking port of LS. This plays very well. A system I've been looking forward to playing is the Sharp X68000. It's got uh, some great ports. Um, more chunky than maybe their Omega counterparts, but uh, a great system overall. I think the real strong point of the X68000 is the music and the sound effects. Uh, they sound amazing, I'd say better than the Amiga actually. Don't tell anybody I said that. As you can see, there's a ton of shooters on the X68000. Lots of games I've never played, that's for sure. Obviously, I've never played Time Pilot.
As you can see, this is a great 8 and 16 bit computer image ready to go. It's rock solid, already configured. Get this on your Raspberry Pi today. This has been RetroTech 100. I'll see you next time.